Hi, my name is Terry from Sweet Pea Papers and the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group. This is video seven, the flip through in my project, A Journal for a Gentleman. And um, this kit is actually two. It's a collaboration between uh, Teddy Treasure Shop and Collage Type. Now you can get this kit. Um, you have to go to both shops and each shop has half of the kit and um, the add-on to the kit. So there's two add-ons and two halves, okay? And the links, of course, will be below the video. Now, this is a trifold journal, so it has three sections, and it looks um, like a lap book when it's closed. So it looks like a square, but it only has three sections instead of four. And this also has room for a two signature journal. Okay, so on the cover is the collage paper and then I made a little collage in the corner. I didn't paper this before I put the holes in, so I left this um, blank. I didn't cover the spine. I put this image on the back in this frame and then I didn't cover this spine because I didn't cover the first spine. Okay, so we're back at the beginning again, and when you open it, here's half of the journal. I'll tell you about that in just a second, and here's section one. Now, um, section one is a giant 8x8 expandable journal, expandable journal, expandable pocket, and when you open it here, it's held by a Velcro dot, uh-huh, a Velcro dot, and inside is the spare ephemera, the large ephemera that I didn't use. Okay. And then down here is um, a bunch of pockets, believe it or not. This is made from two envelopes um, laid on top of each other. So there's two side pockets. There's um, an inside pocket where I overlapped them. There's a pocket up here that I didn't put anything in. There's a pocket on the front which has this card in it right here. Now, the next part is half of the journal, and the reason for that is you'll notice where the um, holes for the signatures are. And I made a mistake, so if you follow this tutorial, be sure to put your um, second hole for your journal on this side of the center instead of that side, and then both of them will fit. Um, because uh, sections two and three are really big. So you slide it this way, trying to make enough room and keep it under the camera. Um, let me move my pop. Okay, so in section two, you open the center one. So you've opened the first cover and here's half of the journal in section one. The second cover holds section two and section three. So when you open it up, you've got the other half of the journal that goes there. I didn't put paper in. These are just placeholder covers so you can see where the journal would go. And like I said, you can put two signatures in here, not very big ones, because this section right here is so big. But um, you can definitely put two in. So to, all together, you have the three sections. It looks really nice. Um, I love the colors. I love the kit with the gentleman on it. So now in section two, these are held by ribbons and Velcro dots. So you undo the dot and that allows this part to open. Now this center part is an envelope stack and each section has a card. This card is the same as the inside paper. And it has some, each thing has ephemera on it. Um, on the back of this is a pocket and it holds this little clock and this clock opens and then you turn it over and there's a larger clock. So let's put the larger one in the front. This piece here is the center of one of the windows that I cut out. Okay, and I made it into a little card. So this one has a postcard in it. And I believe the rest of them have this um, graph paper 
um, as their inside paper. I'm not sure. I thought the first one did too. So it opens like this and then you have a belly band. And these look really cool out. You know what I mean? Without the cards in them. Um, they look good with the cards in it too, but I mean they look even cooler without the cards, but I'm not going to pull them all out. Um, then you have this image page. And this is one of the images of two that have the two gentlemen on it. You open it, and here's a clock. And here's a pocket here, or a tuck here, and a pocket here. Then you have this image page from the collage paper. And you open that up, and it has a belly band here, and a pocket here. Oops, I missed a card, didn't I? A pocket there. And these two match. When you remove the cards, then you'll see that these two sides match up the paper. Okay, let me put these cards back in. Otherwise, I'll never remember where they go. And the cards match up as well. They're not exactly the same, but they're from the same piece of paper. Then we have this windowed envelope with a little bit of ephemera, and this card obviously comes out. I guess they don't all have the same inside, but the graph paper is what I made the card out of. And you open it again, and here's a pocket here. And here's the another CD cover, which are some of my favorite things to put in envelope stacks. And you have a card that comes out here. And it has the same paper on the inside. So I guess that's the theme I did. I don't know what I was thinking. It must have been a dream. And then I, you open this here. And there's a card. On this side here is a tuck. This card is another postcard. A little bookkeeping cover. Up at the top is another pocket. So this is a top-loading pocket envelope. And you flip it over. And there's another side pocket with a card. Then um, this is an image page to write on, so it's a writing page. And you open this up, and you have the second image of the gentleman that comes with the kit. It's part of the collage page. On this side, you have part of the newspaper page and a piece of ephemera here, or a card here, excuse me. I didn't put any ephemera on this because um, it had has the um, newspaper cover. This one back here, this is ephemera of the two gentlemen um, on a belly band, on the belly band. And then you open it again, and then this opens again. And this um, is a writing ta little tablet, which of course doesn't want to go back in. Never take them out during a flip through <laughs> with the clock. And uh, this has a belly band in the center with a card, writing card. And here's a bookmark and a little belly band with a little tab in it, or a little tag in it. So then you fold it back, and I believe this side folds first. No, this side folds first. And that goes in. And there's a tag here, or a card there with a tab, is what I meant to say. And that closes then this one, then this one, then that one, that one, this one. I added three envelopes to this, and that's what made it so fat. And then you close this back up as well as you can. I had problems with this ribbon fraying, and so I had to make it shorter twice. That's why it barely covers. Then once you've closed this back up, if you slide it down, you can actually open this. Whole envelope stack comes up. So there's our stack right there, big fat stack. And then when you open this up, there's a writing card here in this pocket. Then down here, excuse me, there we go. Then down here is an envelope, an envelope, and an envelope. So there's a pocket here 
with a card with a tab. There's a pocket here with a card. Now behind this, behind I glued the envelope on as a pocket. So there's actually two pockets here, but I only put a card in one. And that's the same with this one. I put in one card, but there's room for another one behind. There's another um, pocket behind. Okay, so then you close this back up, and that's section two. So now we're going to move on to section three. And it's not an envelope stack. It's just a flip flap section. Same with the ribbon and the um, Velcro dots. See if I can get it open without fraying the ribbon. Okay, so that opens like that. I thought this kind of looked like a belt on a tuxedo. You know, one of those, um, what do you call it? Starts with a C. I can't think of what it's called. Anyway, this has CD covers as well on the front, on the front of the flip flap. And um, it has, oh, this is the one I think, yes, that has the graph paper. And then you open this. This circle is from the center of this paper when I cut it. And then you have a little bitty pocket with two little um, of pieces of ephemera. On this one, it has a magnet that holds it. This one does too, actually. And when you pull this out, yes, see it has the graph paper. And they all have tabs. We have two more gentlemen on a belly band. And then this comes out. And then over here we have a pocket or a side tuck with two pieces of ephemera. And then you close this back up and then it opens, whoops, I'm running out of room over here. Then it opens like this. There's a belly band here, this big one. This is also a belly band. I didn't put a card in it. There's a large card over here. And um, this on this side of this second flap, okay, um, has an envelope with a window. And this is a tag right here that comes out. Then you open this and here's another tag in a pocket. Here's two more gentlemen in a pocket. This writing card is a hidden card. Yep. You can't tell at first that there's a card there. It matches the paper. And this is actually the card that you're seeing in the window. And then here's the backing paper. You can see the flowers match up. There we go. Okay. So then you close this back up. And this whole thing opens this way. And then you have your belly band with a card that has two tags underneath, okay? And then this is a crisscross acetate pocket. I only put a card in the front one. These are our two gentlemen images again. Then this opens up. And here's a card here, a little pocket here with some ephemera. This opens up into a writing space which I think I'll stamp an image on here. And it's a pocket. And in the pocket is a writing card that's the newspaper. And I believe that's it. I believe that's the end of the book. And then that closes back. And when you open this, it opens this way. Oh, I forgot this side. You see? Um, and then the these are two envelopes in a small waterfall. So it opens this way like so. And each one has a, ta a tag with a tab. Say that ten times fast. And then on the back of each one is writing space. This one has a window as well, but it's smaller. Then over here is a large envelope that you can take out and put stationary in. And then there's two... Um, pockets that face this way that blended in so well that I forgot to put ephemera in them. 
or little tags or something. So that, I knew there was more. That's why I kept trying to lift this up over here. And that goes back like that. This goes like this. And then that's the end of the of the trifold because when you close it again, you've got your center piece again. Then you have your two journals sections, your envelope section that closes up. You've got your front cover and your back cover. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial for this. I had a lot of fun making it and I did do the ephemera off camera, but um, I figured most people knew how to glue ephemera on into little strategic places. Okay, well that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next video series and that will be just a second for you and a day for me. Okay, bye-bye.